Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a work and career reading for Cancer from the 10th to the 23rd of December 2018. Don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. And if you'd like a personal reading, I've put my details in the description box. So please email me uh, or get uh, in contact with me via my website. Uh, I put the decks that I'm using in the description box as well. And I put in links to Amazon and eBay and you can buy these decks by clicking through the links. Um, so please don't forget uh, to uh, watch my deck walkthrough series as well. You'll find that interesting. And like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. And finally, I've written a series of books and I've put in links in the description box. So scroll down the description box and look at the links. Um, there, there are some videos on YouTube um, with regards to the books. And you can also visit the website to view the books. And these books are also available on Amazon that you can buy these books. They make excellent Christmas presents because they're very amusing and very adventurous. And I'm sure you'll enjoy them as much as I have enjoyed writing them. So let's begin with this general energy read first. Okay, so the first card is defend yourself. Uh, there's a lot of gossip and rumors going on around you. So people are getting the wrong impression, so you need to stand up for yourself. Um, you are quite expert to do this job, so don't let anybody tell you any differently. Uh, so you can do this job. You've got all the skills necessary. And don't uh, bow down to any rumors or uh, gossip that is going on around you. So in the past, you needed to be positive, And there was a need for a good um, strategic planning and uh, maybe getting some uh, financial advice. And you've needed to do that in the past few months. So going into the future, you've got uh, a new job opportunity coming your way. And if you need any help to sort problems out, you need to actually accept this help or accept any kind of suggestions that people give you. So defend yourself against any kind of rumors and accept help if you need it. <coughs> so I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards from it. Okay, you've got the five of wands over here. So you might be working in a situation where there is a lot of discord, maybe a lot of people fighting with each other. People are not uh, working well together. There might be a lot of petty arguments, uh, maybe petty gossip, a lot of things being spoken, uh, and you know it's causing a lot of upset for you. So you're trying to lead a team where people are not uh, really cooperating with each other. You can see this person's trying to lead this group of people, but the boat doesn't seem to be going anywhere at this particular moment. So uh, it's causing a lot of problems over here, and you're having to try and sort these problems out. So what's going on uh, around? You've got the Queen of Cups over here, or Queen of Chalices, which is really your card. Uh, so, you know, you are well within your element. You're acting uh, very much uh, in that Cancer role uh, where, you know, you're... Um, taking control, taking lead, the lead of things. And, um, you know, it seems like you're involved with a lot of um, communication. Um, you know, you might be uh, praying for something new to come in as well with this uh, Queen of Cups over here and relying a lot on your intuition. Uh, you're hoping for something new to come in. So maybe you're praying for a new job or praying for something to happen. The Queen of Cups could also be, or Queen of Chalices could also be uh, that, you know, you're... Um, maybe feeling a little down and, uh, you know, uh, maybe you're uh, approaching your spirituality in quite a big way as well. Um, so, um, you know, maybe uh, whatever's been going on is depressing you slightly as well. With the Eight of Wands, you've got a lot of communication coming in. You're communicating with a lot of people, sending out a lot of information, uh, receiving a lot of information, and this is helping you move forward. So there's the end of delays and things are starting to move forward quite quickly. So in the past, you've got the Emperor card over here. So you've been dealing with a lot of situations. You are in a leadership role over here, taking control, taking charge of the situation and getting things sorted out, really. You're very, very uh, practical and very, very organized. And you, know, you handle finances or resources quite well. So, you know, uh, people turn to you for advice and you are uh, very much that leader. 
So in the past few months, you've got the nine of uh, swords over here. This is, you know, uh, really facing very difficult situations, going through a very, very high anxiety uh, situation at this particular moment. Uh, maybe that you're dealing with somebody uh, that is very, very difficult to, to deal with, uh, having a lot of problems with them. They don't listen to what anybody's got to say. You know, you can see this woman's cutting this man's head off before he can say anything. Uh, you know, maybe this person is very much in charge and tends to fire people before they can even say anything and doesn't allow them to have any kind of opinions. So you are dealing with a very stressful situation, a very um, uh, where you're very anxious, you know, because you might be next. Maybe your job's in the line next. And this person is a very difficult person to deal with, with this Nine of Swords. So what's in your mind? You've got the Devil card. You know, you feel very chained to that particular job. Maybe this person that you're dealing with is preventing you from going up uh, the career ladder. You can see this uh, statue is, is blocking the stairway over here, out, you know, outside. So uh, may, maybe you're having to uh, try and pander to this person's needs and they are being, they are very nasty and they're preventing you from making any kind of career advancements. They've got everybody, they're controlling everybody. Maybe they're, they're quite a bully and, and this is just, uh, you know, upsetting you. It's worrying you uh, that, you know, this person has been causing so much of disruption. And maybe this is the reason why there's so much of upset or bickering or arguing. Or, you know, maybe uh, people are responding to this uh, bad leadership because they are, uh, you know, uh, getting, you know, their, their jobs are uh, being threatened at this particular moment. So it's causing a lot of discontent. <coughs> so going into the future, you've got the Two of Cups. So a really good uh, business association or business partnership coming in for you. Somebody very, very supportive that will help you out and help you see uh, a way out of the situation. So some really good friendship, some really good support coming in for you soon. Uh, so what's happening with you, it's the hanged man, which is showing that, you know, you're working extremely hard and the person that you're working under is, you know, uh, very much uh, a bully or they're bossing you around. You can see this person's almost flogging uh, the people in the background over here and all these people here are chained to the job. So uh, whatever this person is, whoever this leader is that you're working under, uh, they don't seem to inspire uh, you know, much confidence or loyalty. People seem to be just doing the work as though it was slavery. You know, they're changed their jobs. They're just getting the work done and they're working very, very hard. And you seem to be one of those people that, you know, slogging really hard, not getting um, any recognition, being treated almost like a slave and, you know, being almost humiliated in that particular job that you're working in. And this is causing a lot of upset for you. Uh, you know, you're almost regretting uh, being in this particular position with the uh, five of cups it's you know feeling as though you're uh, there's a loss uh, you're mourning you're uh, you know very very upset about it it seems like it's almost as though it's almost haunting you it's almost as though nothing you're doing is going right for you so you're very upset not having not sleeping well and very very anxious as well so what you want is you want some kind of justice to come out of the situation. You could want something to happen uh, where, you know, everything is balanced and, you know, this person gets what is coming to them. So you do want that to come in. That is in your hopes. You want them to get their due rewards, really. So you've got the Queen of Wands over here, the King of Pentacles and the Seven of um, uh, Rods over here. So the Queen of Wands is somebody coming in uh, that you will be working with who is... Uh, I think a much better leader. Uh, this could well be the person, um, uh, you know, this person might give up that position and somebody else might come in and take it. And this person is a bit more approachable and a bit, uh, you know, better to work for. So you might be having a change uh, in um, maybe uh, a leadership and somebody else coming in that is more proactive and somebody who is uh, much more dynamic than this particular person that you've been working with. This looks like more like a fire sign person uh, or carrying that energy of a fire sign person, so Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, and uh, you know they, they seem to be much more relaxed or more in tune with, with what is going on. Then you've got the King of Pentacles over here, so this could be you, uh, you know, achieving what you want to do. So maybe after this, uh, there's a change in uh, leadership, you end up getting what you want, uh, or achieving your goals, or um, you know, getting a promotion into a, a leadership position. So it looks like with the change of management, uh, your lot in life improves. Uh, you know, you can see this man's accumulated money over here. Uh, you know, he's getting paid very well and he's, he's being very thankful for, for a change. 
um, you know, and the light is shining on him, so he becomes the focus over here. So it seems like where there's a change, there's going to be a change in management or a change in leadership, and it looks like, you know, you end up uh, getting a promotion or you're getting a better position and earning a little bit more money and being much happier in that particular position. And you've got the seven of wands over here. Uh, this is trying to, uh, you know, sort things out. You're really worried uh, uh, that you are, um, you know, you're going to have a loss of finances or you're, you know, you're trying to prevent loss, really. Uh, you know, she's hitting the rats off the, um, the grain over here. So you are worried that, uh, you know, you are um, having to dig into your, um, you know, your um, nest egg, your, your assets, your... Um, savings really to make ends meet and you are really worried that uh, you know um, there's going to be some kind of loss because there's this gradual loss of uh, money maybe you you're having to uh, you know you're not earning well enough and that means that you know your finances are dwindling a bit but uh, this new position uh, that comes in for you is going to bring in uh, a lot more money so uh, I think this uh, particular fear might be a bit unfounded you also might be dealing with people that are causing you know by their gossip or whatever they're saying are causing um, you to have experienced loss or loss of reputation uh, and you know you're having to defend yourself with the seven of wands is defending you, or yourself and stand up for yourself and if anybody is giving you grief you know um, you know sort them out so it looks like you know you, you're going to have to maybe even sort out these people that are causing these problems so any kind of disputes that are going on around you you are going to be the one that has to sort it out by standing up for yourself and you know being <coughs> excuse me and also being very aggressive in that situation if you need to to get get these people off your back and get things sorted out because they seem to be very nasty and uh, you know if you don't stand up for yourself it looks like they will overwhelm you so a, a real need to defend yourself uh, maybe there is a lot of gossip going on around you and you do need to actually um, you know lay down the law and say this is not going on and um, and you know sort them out so I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy um, tarot So we've got the Ace of Spring, which says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most uh, treasured dreams. Sorry about that. Um, amazing career opportunities. So something brand new coming in for you over here. And, uh, you know, you need to be active. You need to be uh, very proactive in what you do. And uh, it looks like an amazing career opportunity that's going to grow into something better. So it looks like you are going to achieve this uh, King of Pentacles position. Uh, you know, this is about personal finances and receiving uh, a lot more money and maybe receiving a, uh, a promotion. And the second card is the Six of Springs, which says, Wonderful news is on its way to you. Smart choices that brings rewards, success, and public recognition. So you are going to be victorious in the situation, and it looks like, uh, you know, there is that promotion coming in for you, and money is coming in with that. And you've got the Eight of Autumn over here, which says, uh, Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships or long-term projects so it looks like there's something stable coming in for you and you might end up going and doing some more studying uh, some more further education some kind of seminars just to bring your skill set up uh, but all in all with the eight of uh, autumn it looks like you know things are going to settle down it's going to be quite stable and this is like a long-term job uh, you will be coming you know maybe becoming an expert in that kind of field uh, but definitely something stable. So there doesn't look like there's a loss of job. It just looks like things are going to stabilize. You need to stand up and defend yourself against people that are causing any grief. And it looks like you are going to achieve with this uh, King of Pentacles. But there also looks like there's some kind of change in management coming around. So, um, you know, maybe somebody who, who's, who you're working with who has been very, very, uh, very much a bully, even with this devil card over here on your mind, uh, it seems like maybe they um, move on and uh, somebody else comes in and is a better person to work with, uh, something that, you know, where you're not feeling as though you're under slavery uh, and you're waiting for this. With the hangman, it usually is a turning point card, so there is a point now where things are going to change and it looks like it's going to be for the better. And it looks like, you know, you're going to get a lot of support in that work that you do. So maybe you get along better with this new person that comes in and they will help you uh, along in career advancement as well. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And don't forget to have a look at my books as well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.